Got the Enforcer 250. This is uh, the third part of the uh, video. This is actually uh, the amplifier after I did the Mars mod. This is it right here. The uh, Acom 600S. And uh, let me tell you, look at the color display, man. This thing is a beauty. That's the uh, forward power. This is all digital. This thing does a. Uh, Peaks are about seven to eight hundred watts. Shows you the temperature, reflective power, input power, SWR. Operate standby. It's all touch control, cat controlled, which means when I uh, change bands on the radio, the uh, the amp will follow. All right. It, it basically handshakes with the uh, radio, the amplifier. And of course, this is my uh, this is my baby here. This is the 7610, as you can see. Oh yeah. I just wanted to show you the unboxing. And uh, the radio fired up. And the amplifier fired, fired up. And uh, when you do the mod with this particular amp, it, uh, you have a range of uh, 26 to 30 megahertz as far as the uh, MOS cap. This would go all the way down from 160 to 6 meters. And like I said, uh, if you change bands on the radio, the amplifier follows automatically because I have the uh, cat interface uh, cable. So you don't have to worry if you go, go to another band. You don't have to worry accidentally uh, keying up on the wrong band. With, uh, without the tuner, or without the uh, amp being ready for it. This is, uh, this is operate, now it's on standby. That's just the current temperature, and uh, you go into the menu system, and you could change all the parameters. Uh, you could go to amp measure, and let me select that. I'll show you what that does. That basically gives you uh, all the capabilities. It shows you forward power, reflective SWR, output gain, output power. And you can highlight that on the uh, main screen. And these are first and secondary items. Then you can uh, you can go. Let me let's go back for a second. And uh, you scroll down and amp service. You could change the cat settings. This is the user preference. You go to this menu, select. And uh, you could see automatic menu exit. You could put your call sign in there. This says ICOM 600S. You could put your call sign, your handle, what have you. You have a B volume display brightness. All right. Temperature and units. Of course, I set it to Fahrenheit. It was initially set for Celsius. Um, and that's about it. I mean, this thing has just. Uh, it has just a bunch of uh, protection circuits. I mean, you can't hurt this amplifier. If it overheats, it goes into a protective state. If you try to over, I mean, it's, it has multiple fans. It has a power supply fan. It has a built-in 50 volt power supply. Um, it has dual M um, LDMOS MOSFETs, which uh, are basically indestructible. I mean, you can't kill those MOSFETs. The LDMOS is there's two in them in here. And like I said, this is the smaller of the two. This one is rated at 700 watts, and uh, the big brother to this is the 1200S. And you say, well, why did you get a, an amplifier that's uh, half the power practically, as uh, a little less, a little less than half? Well, my Acom 1000, it's about a 1200 watt amp, and this one is uh, 700, and it can easily do a little more with with peaks. But uh, you know, I'm not trying to push it, so. Um, the answer for that is I'm really not uh, I'm really not getting uh, out of uh, the uh, Acom 1000 what I should be getting or could be getting because of my line voltage. Um, I don't have a dedicated 220 line, so I'm really not getting the full potential out of that Acom 1000. So um, that radio is up for that amp is up for sale. So this is uh, something that runs on uh, on 120. There's no uh, special wiring. I just had to add a plug. Uh, heavy duty plug for 120 
and I put that on myself. I did the uh, mod, which is the Moss Cat mod, which uh, they try to charge. They want to charge you 100 bucks for the mod and 50 dollars for the plug. So I basically saved myself 150 bucks just by doing it myself. And uh, it's a, it's a gorgeous amp, man. As you can see that display, yeah, it is a beauty. So let me get out of this menu. And this goes to the main screen. And it's showing you 20 to uh, 30 megahertz continuous because of the Mars mod. If I didn't do the Mars Cat mod, it, uh, it wouldn't transmit here. It would say error. Or, um, you know, it, there would be a, um, an enunciator that would tell you uh, the, the either it, either an error code or it would actually tell you uh, what, what the problem is and why it's not transmitting there. And uh, like I said, it has so many protection circuits, over current, over voltage, uh, high SVSWR, um, what else? It has uh, high temperature. I mean, this thing, uh, you, you can't hurt it, man. And uh, like I said, it's, it's, uh, it's a 700 watt amp, but it's a, it's a beauty, man. And like I said, it uses LDMOS MOSFETs. There's two of them in there. And uh, the thing is built like a, like a tank, man. Um, yeah, and I'm basically going to put up the, a the ACOM 1000 up for sale. And uh, I'm just going to work with this. This is all I need, man. I, I don't need, uh, you know, super big amplifiers. If I'm not heard with 700 watts, then, uh, then I have no business on the air. You know? But uh, it is a beauty, man. And like I said, it's the, uh, it's, uh, the ACOM uh, 600S. And uh, this thing is made... Uh, made like a tank is uh, nothing made like it I mean uh, a Maritron can't touch this amp whether uh, whether it's the solid state or the, the, the tube version and like I said it's, a, it's expensive but you get what you pay for man like I said um, this amplifies uh, at this power level I could have paid uh, one uh, third of the price but uh, nothing is built like this you're not getting one of those Dave Maids or uh, any of those amps built like this those amps are toys in comparison. So if you know you want the best, you want the Lamborghini of uh, amplifiers, you gotta pay. You want the Ferrari of uh, radios, you gotta pay. That's why I got this trusty uh, Icom 7600. And like I always say, listen, man, you know what? You can't take it with you. So enjoy it. That concludes the uh, this video, and uh, this will be the third part. And I hope you enjoy it. Enforcer 250. Bye, 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 bye.